All right, everybody, welcome to the Golf Kelowna YouTube page, joined by Lee Ranger, Director of Golf here at the Okanagan Golf Club. Today we are playing the Quail Course. Lee, tell us about it. Uh, the Quail is a Les Ferber design uh, compared to the Bear, which is a Nicholas course. Uh, Ferber goes around the mountain on the backside, and the Quail plays a little bit more target oriented, lots of undulation in the greens, and uh, you got to hit your targets out there. You don't need to use drivers so often. Compared to the Bear, you can swing away a little bit more often, but uh, the Quail. Uh, presents quite a challenge. It's a good right. golf course. Excited to give it a shot. Let's play some golf. You bet. So we're playing the Blacks here today at the Quail. Uh, it's just over 6,000 yards. Hole one, short par four, a little bit S-shaped, kind of dog leg left, 320 yards. Uh, main thing is to hit your fairway on the first shot. It's a short iron or like a little wedge coming in the second shot, but just hit your targets out here on the Quail. You don't have to bomb the driver all day. Yeah. For sure. So four irons a club of choice it seems like for the moment. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hole two, we're playing uh, five twelve from the blacks. Pretty intimidating, narrow tee shot. You got elevated tees, so we got driver coming out for Lee. Gapper coming out for me. Right down the pipe. Okay, hole three here, Lee, what do we got? So, little dog leg left, it's a, it's a relatively short par four. There's a big tree in the middle of the fairway down there, it's just over 200 yards from the black tee box here. So the long hitters like to hit just to the left of that tree with a 200, 210 yard type club. And some of the guys even take a driver over the top corner, I'm not that brave, but we'll give it a shot with the traditional way. Get in there. Oh, very nice roll. Alrighty, so we got the six hole split fairway. Black tees here, you're looking at about 270 yards straight through the fairway into those bunkers. It does open up a lot to the left. What's the, the game plan here, Lee? Double dog leg, so your tee shot towards those bunkers with a three wood or something like that. If you want to bomb it over the corner with a big draw, you can play it that way, or some guys go right over the Right over the gap here are the trees with the driver. It leaves them a middle iron into the green potentially on the second shot. Perfect layout. About the best I could do with that. We'll see how it turns out. Well played, yeah. There it is. There we go. I like that. Love it. Arguably the most challenging hole in the course, would you say? Yeah, I, we rate this number one. Yeah. Uh, diff most difficult hole uh, since the new ratings. Par three, narrow green, double tiered, bunkers down low left, and just a good solid shot. It's 202 to the flag today, so uh, you fly at about 195, you're probably going to be pretty good. Didn't bite. Ninth hole here, one of my favorite holes on the course, and it's tough. Yeah, you bet. Longer par four, dog leg right. Yeah. You've got a very intimidating tee shot where you can only see the left side of the fairway. Yeah, perfect shot here, a little carving fade uh, left to right shot, and you can hit a driver, you can hit a three wood, uh, anything goes if you hit your target line. But you can play through the fairway real quick here if you don't hit the right shapes. Kaylee, we got a uh, 
great par three at the 11th here. Yeah, it's a it's a good hole. Um, snack shack too, right? So it's a good time in the middle of the round to yeah. have a refreshment. But kind of a mid middle club, uh, 155. I think we, we lasered to, to that back pin, but a challenging green. You want to be in the right portion of the green. So. First par five on the back, uh, straight on tee shot. Yeah, basically straight away at that mountain in the background and uh, she runs downhill for the second half. So you, you don't even have to crush it here. You just hit a good solid one and you're gonna get a lot of run out of it, reach it putting you in reach of the green. We got uh, drivable 14th, par four. What's the play here? You bet. There's uh, the traditional way, which the old guys are gonna do. Uh, basically a five iron, four iron to the fairway, layup shot towards that house in the distance. But long bomber like yourself should be going right for that green. I think 270 to carry to that front bunker. Wind at the back. Yeah. And uh, in the summertime with the warm air, you should have no problem getting in there. There we go. And the safe play gets the birdie, <laughs> the risk gets the bogey. So here we are at the new and improved 18th hole quill at Okanagan. We've got a par three over the water. Beautiful stunning backdrop with this evening sun. Thanks for the round. Yeah, Always a pleasure you. playing here at Quail. Yeah. What's the what's the the one piece of advice and and the, the quick synopsis for our viewers who are coming here to play next? Well, you said it bang on. You don't have to hit driver everywhere out here. Um, it's not an exceptionally long course, but it does play challenging still. So uh, choose your club wisely off the tee. Keep it in play. There's lots of birdie holes, but you can be one hop from a double bogey if you you don't play smart. And putting, as you've seen. Uh, be under the hole if you can, and give the hole, uh, give the brakes lots of, uh, lots of uh, extra. It curls. Think of Ben Crenshaw when you're putting in the quail. You want to just let it die into the hole. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, thanks for playing with us. We'll see you next time. Excellent. Thank you.